calculation for the resin. For example, I do pipe 10 meter length diameter 150 with a 3 millimeter line. This is a general calculation for all of our liners. You just need to change the thickness or the diameter and then you can do the calculation for all of our lines. Important is to know the diameter we calculate in meter, multiplicate with the thickness in millimeter, multiplicate with the length in meter with P which is 3.14 and then as a result we get the volume meter. For example, like I said, diameter 150, 3 millimeter, 10 meter length. Diameter is 0 0.15 meter. Thickness, 3 millimeter. The length, 10 meters. P, 3.14. Is the re uh, result 14.13 liter. But epoxy resins will be never um, measured in liter. We are always calculating in. Uh, volume uh, in, in kilogram and that's the reason why we have to calculate it into kilogram. Um, we use for example the resin EX22 here is a mixing ratio 100 to 25. Like I said epoxy calculation always in kilo. Destiny of the EX22 is 1.1 kilogram per liter. Now, to calculate this 14.13 um, into liter, this is destiny, multiplicate by liter, this will be the total amount of resin in kilogram. That means 14.13, this number, 14.13 liter, multiplicate by 1.1 kilogram per liter, is 15.54 kilogram. And this is the total amount of resin we need for 10 liter. Um, I said mixing ratio 125, so how much of this 15.54 kilogram is resin and how much is hardener? I just um, divide the total resin by 125 because the mixing ratio of 125. That means it is 125 part of the total resin. Then one of this, this, uh, this result multiplied by 100, that is component A, multiplied by 25 is component B. So like I've done here before, total amount of resin divided by 125. This is 0 0.1243. This 0 0.1243 multiplied by 100 is 12.43 kilogram is component A. 0.1243 multiplied by 25 is 3.108 kilogram. That's component B. Now we know exactly for the diameter 153 millimeter thickness, 10 meter length, how much A and B we have to use. 